My name is Nina Paletta, and I'm one half of Street Beat. And I'm Megan Shaw, I'm the other half of Street Beat. If someone would have asked us a year ago if we thought we'd be opening a restaurant, we probably would have said they were crazy. Um, but this whole thing took off in a way that we seriously never expected. As vegans, we're sort of used to there being limited food options available to us when we go out to eat. Street Feet wants to open a restaurant where vegans and non-vegans can enjoy food together without limitation. As Street Beat, we create vegan, gluten-free versions of comfort food classics. I think we see Street Beat expanding into having our own space. A big part of what we do here is wanting to provide something that we can't really find here. We wanted to create the vegan food that we wanted to be eating. One of our favorite creative endeavors as Street Beat is our spin-offs of fast food restaurants. We're probably most known for Taco Hell. We do McDaddy's, Kentucky Fake Chicken, Pizza Butt. It caught on very quickly. People were drawn to what we were doing and kind of just requesting more and more. We kind of want to cater to people who aren't vegans. I think one of the coolest things to find out was that so many other people were searching for these alternatives that we wanted. There has been so much pioneering in this industry in Detroit, and it definitely serves as motivation for us to continue to learn and grow so that we can be a positive and exciting addition to the food scene. We recreate these food items with more wholesome, fresh, healthy ingredients, and I think that we do it in a very environmentally responsible way. It's really fulfilling when something that you're passionate about turns out to be something that other people feel is important to them. We have lines that wrap around buildings, we fill up bars. There's a clear demand for it and we want to be able to grow with it. We want to be the first fully vegan and gluten-free restaurant to hit Detroit. We've traveled to LA, we're going to Louisville this summer, and then maybe in the future we want to expand outside of Detroit. We're extremely eager to open doors at our own brick and mortar. And we would not be where we are today if it weren't for all of our friends, and our family, our customers. We're just super excited to see what the future holds.